Все хуй. Дом. It's such a good bait, but it's hard work getting them. We've come back to Cabo Leos again. I haven't been here in about a month. But yeah, there are a couple of fish coming out further up towards the gap area. So we're going to take a little bit of a walk. I've been wanting to go up there for quite a while. We've been doing a lot of rock and reef fishing up Paradise Way, as you guys have seen. So today, hopefully, we can get a steerney on the line. That's what I'm going for. Well, that's what we're going to go for. See if we can't get some of those white crabs that you find in the shallows on the sand. Put one of those out. And then uh, we've got some chocker, sand prawn. We've got some sods. And just scratch around those bigger rods. Let them lie there with the crabs on. If there is a steerney, it should be a decent fish that picks it up. So let's have a look. <laughs> yeah, stunning. <laughs> Yeah, if you see what we're looking at here is there's a bank on your right hand side there. You won't see it now nice and there's some swell coming and you'll see how it pushes over. It's very shallow. It's probably about knee deep over there. We've got a rip coming through the front of this bank, going out into this gully in front of my trolley over there. Then there's a shallow bank to the left that also has a rip coming out from the front hand side of the gutter. So well, of the bank itself. So it's making two gutters on the inside pushing out into the center gutter which is fairly deep what it looks like so we have to have a throw over here it's very nice a very deep gutter that's in the front so we'll see if there's nothing here within two or three throws then we'll just keep going to where the plan is that we want to go to but we can only try So I'm not going to throw a very big one, just putting a small little bait on, I just want to see what is in the area, if there is anything. It's actually a bronze bream trace, but uh, I don't think the fish will mind. And here comes Mr. Tyron eventually, always about a half an hour later. So nice here Tyron, I have to have a for you. Uh, oh. Second throw, it's a start. Some uh, lovely angling and marine chocker. I full lambray chocker up your lot fall. I full lambray chocker up your lot fall. You talk? Yeah. No, yeah, mate, I'm going <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys have a look at what I did, yeah, I just cut two long tentacles. I just hit the end, the thicker parts of the tentacles with a hammer, just softened it up, bind it with a bit of cotton, and then just take your hook and stick it just through the top piece. It's a bit of a small hook, but I'm always fishing the small hooks. And stick him through just like that. Just so that the tentacles hang. Just like that. Nice little cobby bait, there's a lot of movement of it in the water. So this is what we're looking 
beautiful. Okay. They bought the ah, living crap out of you. Let go, let go. Okay, well, I'll hold on to him and he can hold on to me. But that's what we're looking for. And he's still holding on. He's biting properly. How pretty that little cop is. Almost as big as my hand. Stunning little fish. I'll just handle him nice and gently. You can go back and grow up. Pretty little cob. Daniel's fishing that side quickly. See if you can uh, maybe get a nice animal or so. We move back to the old spot. Um, so hopefully we get a fish for today. Hopefully. Good morning, we're back at it again. Come back up here to Cobble Yos. We've just finished pumping some prawns. It's nice to see the size of the prawns have come up again with the fresh water pushing into the lagoon. But uh, I've got to be honest with you guys, I'm not even very enthusiastic with the way fishing's been going lately in Jeffrey's Bay. But we are, we're off for the day, so we can't let a good day go to waste. And uh, what do we bring with us? Some chocker brought some mullets with just to see what might be around the water's warmed up a lot it's come up to about 19 degrees where it's been around 15 16 for a very long time so we're gonna put a bait out we're gonna go for it keep give it a good go and see what's biting we'll stay in touch Okay, so we've, we've come up a little way back towards Jeffries from where the lagoon is and um, you always hear of us talk about formation and sandbanks and gutters around the sandbanks what we look for. As far as what I can look up to your left, up to my left, and as far as I can look down to the right there is one long sandbank at the back with just waves crashing on it. So it's not ideal conditions, it's not what we are looking for. Sorry, I just need to put these on. But, um, as I said, we are here now. We're going to give it a go. So, on the big one, what I brought with me was that uh, new Beachmaster, the number seven. 
I've got my slammer with me. It's got 40 pound DNA on it. I've got a 120 pound 7x7 wire. I think that's what that is. It's that softer one that we use. And I'm going to put a mullet head with some fillets out on the back somewhere. So there's not really anything to aim at. It's just one lip as I was saying. One drop off and then a lip right at the back. But you'll never reach that one. On the smaller rod, uh, I've got my Spheros 14,000. I'll put on a lighter setup with that. I've got 20 pound Berkeley 9X on it. It helps with the throwing so you can get a little bit more distance out there if you're scratching around for something. And we'll give that one a go. Hopefully, there might be a little something that's going to be interested in it. But stick around. we're cutting the bait off never a good sign so now I'm going to take the big walk and go down to the rocks we're going to catch black tails if there's nothing else to catch hopefully they'll bite so we're still on our way up to the corner by albatross but there's a little hole Coming, well it's quite a long guttery hole, it's all going in the front. So I just want to put a little prawn bait out here, it's close by, it's like a 20 or 30 meter throw. Just want to see if maybe something's coming up and down this gutter here. It's got a little bit of an opening down that end where it goes out to sea, so it's looking a little bit better as we go along. Can only try. come all the way along the beach back from the lagoon we're back here we made that one video catching all those black tails and right through the smaller chaloon it can't get any worse than what it is i'm yet to have a bite if there's nothing here then i reckon it's home time Blacktail, it's got a nice size one too. 